Vladislav Tonkik, who is under the gun. Over to Zadinsky, who is going to continue to be active. More active than Greek yogurt cultures. And he has just gotten three bet by Lakov, who may be aware of the fact that Zdinsky's been very active. All right, we got a three bet pot. Outside of an all in, this is the first three bet we've seen today. Yes. <laughs> Pretty wet board here. Could easily have hit both players. Well, Lakov has continued. 18k into 48k. Well, these are two of the biggest stacks of the table, of course. Number two and number three. Lakov with a hundred bigs, Zadinsky with seventy-three. <sighs> that looks like a race. Sure enough, Zadinsky has just check raised to fifty-five K. So it's interesting that it's these two stacks who are deciding to play a conspicuously large pot. Sadinsky's got a pot-sized bet left behind. Yeah, Lakov has called, meaning there's 158,000 in the middle. Seven of clubs on the turn. The board gets straight here. It puts a second flush draw out there. If Zadinsky was check raising a draw or something, um, that seems fairly reckless to me. Um, I think that Lakoff is going to have a, a decent hand here, a majority of the time. Uh, maybe he thought he could get a hand like Ace King to fold, but unfortunately, like this just really crushes a raise calling range from Zadinsky. I think it actually hits a raise calling range more than the pre-flop three betting range. There he goes. It is pretty much a pot size bet, just over pot. 166,500 from Zadinsky. And a not inconsiderable slice of Lakov's stack. <coughs> like, I don't even really know what you're supposed to do here with Ace-Queen. I mean, you're going to be up against a draw plenty, but you could also already be dead. Ace Queen of Diamonds? Yeah, oh yeah, well, that's a slam dunk. I mean, that's an easy decision. Clearly, he does not have an easy decision. I guess your raise calling range that you're like, again, we don't even know that Lakoff has ace queen, but I guess it is he's not going to have king jack that often. He's not going to have queen 10 that often. There's the call. This is a huge pot. Nearly 500,000 in the middle, and Zadinsky is at risk. Jack 8 against queens. It's a set of queens for Lakov. Zadinsky with the straight. But if the board pairs, he is eliminated. Sheepers. One flops top set, the other flops the straight. It all goes in on the turn. I thought he was going to have King Jack very often. He's got Jack 8. So, 
As long as there is no 7, 9, 10 or Queen on the river, Zadinsky wins a huge pot and that's exactly what happens. It's really gross for pocket Queens. Zadinsky could well be the tournament ship leader now with 491,000. Meanwhile, Alexander Lakov down to 97k, a below average stack, 30 big, still plenty to work with though. It's pretty lucky for Zadinsky to open fairly light. 